folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist with Camping World, and today we're going to go over the 2018 Coleman Lantern Series 274 BHS. If you're looking for a great entry level bunk model that doesn't have any slides and great amenities, then this is one you definitely want to watch. Let's start off right over here on the dinette. So the thing I like about the dinette here in the Coleman is the fact it is nice and large. You can easily sit four people here and you see that I have plenty of room here in the front as well as plenty of space from the top of my legs to the bottom of the table. So you can comfortably and easily sit four adults here if you want to. Also it drops down into a bed. You simply remove the two legs right here. The table will then sit along these rails take the two back cushions, put it on top, and that will create an additional sleeping space. There is an electrical outlet down below, so if you need to plug in a laptop or tablet, you have the capability of doing that. And then right over here, you see that you have some additional storage right down there, quite easy to get to as well. Right up above is a window. This is one of the things I love in any floor plan is when manufacturers give you a campsite dinette. The reason is, this is where I'm gonna be sitting, enjoying my breakfast, having a cup of coffee, and I wanna be able to look out at my campsite, not watch my neighbors and see what they're doing. So I really like when you have this set up here. You'll also see you have an LED light up top, so that way if you're playing games at night, you have plenty of lighting here. And going across the top, you have good additional storage. I would probably fill this with, uh, you can use this as pantry, put some food goods up there, because it's nice, easy snacking, it's easy to get to. Your control panel is right on the end. You can see that right over there. It's nice and high. So if you have small kids, you don't have to worry about them, you know, running your awning in and out, turning your lights off or anything like that. I know my two-year-old absolutely loves to flip any switch she can get her hands on. Right up top here, you see you have a nice open cubby hole and directly beneath that is your multimedia center. This unit is a radio CD and DVD player. It controls the speakers in here as well as the speakers outside. And as I mentioned, it's a DVD player. So all you have to do is hook up a TV. You'll see that they did put a backer in the wall. So you know exactly where to mount it. TV connections are right up here. Plug this into the back and you're good to go. You can watch movies. You can watch, you know, Frozen or, uh, you know, Aladdin, whatever you want all day long there. You'll notice right up on the ceiling here, you have an AC. This is really nice too, folks. If it gets a hot, you know, it's a really hot day, you don't wanna, uh, or you can't keep it cool enough by opening the windows up, you can turn this guy on. It will certainly help bring the temp down in here. Let's take a look right in the back, as this is a rear bunk unit. The thing I like about this is you have what they call in the industry a double over double bunk. So nice, big, wide bunks here, where you can sleep two kids to a bunk if they're smaller, which is great. 300 pound weight capacity on here. You don't have to worry about them breaking. Teddy bear bunk series, nice and soft. You have a light on, uh, on both the top and bottom as well as a window. And if you take a look right up here, you'll also see there's a dual USB port. Now I know that when we go camping, you know, we go to a lot of times to get away from electronics, but on that rainy day, that can be a lifesaver. You know, the kids can be up here, give them their own space, let them plug in their iPad or whatever it may be. That way they can entertain themselves for a little bit, give you a little bit of a breather. Right back here is the bathroom. You'll see right down below is the foot flush lever toilet here. And then take a look at the countertop. You have a nice big countertop space. You have all this extra room over here, which I like with the electrical outlet. So if you need to plug in a curling iron, you know, you have a place you can set it down here. You have storage underneath. See storage underneath the sink, as well as a nice little cubby hole right over to the side. And then up top, you have a mirrored medicine cabinet right here that does have storage behind that. LED light right above so you can see herself in the mirror. Robe hook right over here to the side. Good place to hang a towel. Up top there, you see you have your vent fan to quickly help moisture escape. And then you have the tub shower directly behind me with the hand wand. I really like having a tub unit in a bunk model because if you have really small kids and they're still taking baths, it's nice to not have to, uh, you know, break that, get out of routine. They can still take a bath before bedtime. And, you know, their first time taking a shower doesn't have to be in your RV. You take a look right up top here, you see a cubby hole up above the fridge freezer combo. Nice big fridge freezer in here too. Norcold, you can see you have plenty of space in there. This unit does run off both propane and electric and also has automatic switchover. 
Right over next to that is your microwave with a fully functional hood right underneath. You see that does have a light and fan there. And then we get into the rest of the kitchen. So even though you don't have a ton of countertop space here, you do have beautiful countertops. They went to a thermal formed countertop rather than your standard T mold, which allows you to have an undermount sink. And you'll see it's a full size sink as well as a full size cooktop. So I definitely do like that. Bigger bowl on the left here, smaller one on the right, which is perfect for washing and rinsing dishes and your nice high rise residential style faucet there. The uh, three burner cooktop, the front one here is high output. And then you also have your oven underneath in case you want to do some baking. Now, as I mentioned, you don't have a ton of countertop space. So myself, I'd probably get a cooktop cover, probably a sink top cover as well, just so you have more prep space. But again, those are small things that uh, you, know, you can easily purchase. Right over here underneath the oven, you'll see you do have some extra storage right over there. A bank of three drawers. Now this first one isn't huge, it's a little bit smaller because you have the uh, plumbing from the sink to contend with. But you'll see the next two are nice and big. So that way you have plenty of room for your silverware and some of your larger utensils like knives, spatulas, things like that. You have this cutout going the whole length here, which I'd probably use for a spice rack. But whatever you want to put in there, you can. Some additional storage right over here. You will notice the electrical outlet right up top. That is kind of double use. You can use it uh, for anything you need to plug in here at the kitchen or if you're sitting in the sofa, which I'll show you in just a moment. LED light right above the window and then additional storage right here as well as storage right to the side of that. Take a look at this. That's really cool too. So good storage all throughout here. Another window right there. This does open. It's a functional window. So again, helps with that cross ventilation. And then right here is the sofa. So the thing I like about this floor plan is they're able to get the big double bunks. You have the campsite dinette and they still were able to fit a sofa in here, which is awesome. It's a comfortable sofa too. You'll see they built in the armrest kind of to the side. You can remove these. So if someone's sleeping here, you know, they don't have this at the head and the foot, but at least it does give you a place to put your arm. And then in the center right here, you have another drop down armrest with the double cup holders right there. Now, part of this is taken up underneath, but you'll see at least right over here, you do have great additional storage. So that way, if you want to store like bedding or something under there, you can uh, quickly and easily get at that. You see a thermostat right over here to the side. This controls your heat. Your AC controls are on the AC itself. Now, one of the things I like they did with this floor plan is they took this wall and you'll see they took a big chunk out of it made this a half wall it really opens this floor plan space up and you know makes it a lot bigger not just looking and feeling but also makes it a lot easier to walk around the end of the bed oftentimes it's a problem you know you're crunched in you have to kind of do the, the little wiggle to get through here it's not an issue because they did cut that away you also have the curtain right here which you can close off for privacy now, uh, the bed itself is a camper queen. And again, the big reason for that is so you're able to easily slide through here. If you want to replace it with a queen bed, folks, you certainly can. You know, it'll, again, you won't have much room toward the end of the bed, but you can put one in there. It's the same width, you know, same uh, 60 inches there. So that's certainly not a problem. On both sides, you see you have a nice nightstand. You'll also notice you have a drawer there as well as an electrical outlet. So if you need to charge cell phones or plug in a CPAP machine, you can put that on either side. And in fact, this side over here actually has a dual USB port on the other side here. So it actually has a dedicated place in which you can plug in those electronics. Right up above that, you have mirrored wardrobe. You see you have the hanging rod going across. And then right there, you have a shelf running in between the two with an LED reading light underneath. Last thing I do want to point out, right over here, you have TV hookups. So if you want a TV in the bedroom, they did put another um, uh, mount right there in the wall, or a backer rather, so you know exactly where to mount that. And then your TV connections are located on the ceiling. Now that we've seen the inside, let's take a quick look at some of the outside features on the Coleman 274BH. Right up front here, you have two 20 pound propane tanks with your cover. Easy to get in there, just undo these two thumb screws, lift the door, and that will give you access to those two tanks. Right behind that, you see rails there for your battery. And then coming up the front, you have the uh, black kind of embossed diamond plate on here. This helps protect the front end from the rocks and debris that will get thrown up by your tow vehicle. Something else that's absolutely fantastic, folks, is this right here, especially for an entry level camper. This is unprecedented. You have an industry best three year structural warranty. 
that should make you feel great. If you're looking for peace of mind, that should definitely be it for you right there. When you come around to this side, take a look at this. It also has solar prep. If you like to go out boondocking, places you don't have shore power and you want to extend the life on your battery, this is a great option to go. You simply buy the portable panels, plug it in right there, and it will trickle charge your battery. The cool thing about this too, folks, is that you know if you trade this camper in and you get something else, you can take those panels with you. It's not a lost investment. Right over here, you see your pass-through. The thing I like about this is it's a big open pass-through and you have a large door on both sides. A lot of times, manufacturers will put a larger door on the camp side and a smaller door on the off-camp side to save some money. Coleman did not do that. They want you to be able to, you know, anything you put in on this side, they want you to be able to get on the other side as well. Right here is a power awning. You'll see it stretches a pretty good length here. Just touch a button to roll that out. Same thing to have it go right back in. You also have an LED light strip on there. So if you want light at night, you don't have to get up there and hang up your Christmas lights. Just flip a switch and you're good to go. Underneath that, you have two outside speakers. Those are controlled by that multimedia center inside I had showed you. But again, you, that unit is Bluetooth capable. So you can sit out here underneath your awning with your smartphone and be able to uh, you know, operate that via Bluetooth. Getting into the camper is super simple. You have two foldable steps here as, as well as the grab handle right there. You'll also notice you have a window in the door. That helps bring in a lot of natural light there too. Some manufacturers don't do that, folks. They'll just have a, a plain door, and I'm telling you, it can get really dark inside a lot of those RVs. Making our way back a little bit further, you have nitrogen-filled tires here. Hopefully, that'll hold that tire pressure for a longer period of time. And then right here is an electrical outlet. So a couple of quick things uh, that I, I want to talk about. One, obviously, if you need to plug anything in, that's the place to do it. The other thing you'll notice, if you take a look down the side of this camper, you have this nice big awning here, and you don't have any vents on this side. That's something that I oftentimes look for when I'm doing some RV shopping, because this is where I hang out, underneath the awning. I want to set up my chairs here. If I want to set up a table, right? I'm going to set up a table right here so I can put my electric griddle out here, my crock pot, whatever it may be. And I don't want that hot air blowing on me, especially in the warmer season. So I love the fact that there aren't any vents on this side. Uh, if we come back a little bit further, you know, you saw that big pass through storage, but take a look at this right here. You have great storage space in there as well. So a lot of outside storage on this camper. Uh, you get this because this storage right here is underneath that rear uh, bunk. On the back here, if you take a look up top, you will notice this one does have a backup camera prep. That's a great thing to have. This is a pretty good sized travel trailer, especially if this is your first one. It can be really nice having that backup camera so you can see what's behind you to make sure you don't hit anything or more importantly, anyone. And then right down here is your outside shower that has both hot and cold water access. All right, folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is a 2018 Coleman Lantern Series 274 BHS. If you're interested in this RV and you'd like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description below. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker and let's go camping.